Hello investors, welcome to Business Learnings. How to identify multi-baggers in the stock market? You know, there are thousands of stocks listed across NSE and BSE. How do you find the next multi-bagger? There are various frameworks available for it, and I'm going to talk about one of the most important one, one of the most ignored ones, and it's called operating leverage. So it's it's not quite complicated. Uh, stay with me throughout the video and you'll get complete clarity on this one. I'll take a basic example to explain so that even a layman could understand and make sure that you watch the video throughout the end. Right. So let's say you have a company that manufactures paracetamol and you expect that in the next few years, the demand of paracetamol is really going to pick up. And that's why you expand your capacity. You, you purchase a new piece of land, you establish your machineries and uh, factories over there, you employ a new set of people, do all of that. Now let's, with, with, with a very basic example, try to understand what happens in those scenarios. Let's say uh, 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 you have a company and you manufacture paracetamol and you do 100 crore of sales in the first year. Uh, your profits are going to be your sales minus your costs. Now when we talk about costs, there are two kinds of costs in any kind of company. There are fixed costs and there are variable costs. Fixed costs are those costs which you anyways have to pay. Whether your company is manufacturing or it's not manufacturing, whether it's operating or it's shut down, you'll have to pay this kind of cost because if you have established a new company at a place, you'll have to pay the salaries of the employees, right? Until and unless those employees are part-time and you can fire them whenever the factory shut down. Typically, most of the companies are permanent employees. You'll have to pay the salaries for those employees. You'll have to pay the electricity bill of the premises off of the factory. You'll have to pay for the mortgage payments, the rental agreement or uh, the rental lease, whatever it is. You'll have to pay for the depreciation of the machineries that you have put in. Right? You'll have to pay the interests. These are the things that you'll anyways have to pay and that's why these are called fixed costs. And then there are variable costs. For example, if you are manufacturing paracetamol, you will have to purchase a lot of phenol, right? And more the amount of uh, paracetamol that you are going to manufacture, more the amount of phenol you will have to purchase. So variable cost is proportional to sales, the amount of goods that you produce, uh, which is most likely uh, proportional to the amount of sales. And that's why variable costs are proportional to the sales. Then you have electricity bill. Again, I have written electricity bill in fixed as well as variable because this is variable electricity bill. More the longer your machineries run, the longer your bill runs. Then there are part-time workers. Right? So these are your variable costs. And out of these three, for a manufacturing company, the biggest cost is the cost of raw materials, which for a paracetamol company would be the cost of phenol. Right. Uh, now your profit will be sales minus fixed minus variable costs. For the year one, let's say your sales were 100 crore rupees. Your fixed cost, let's say, was 20 crore rupees. Your variable cost is, let's say, 30% of sales, which is 30 crore rupees. Your profit will be 50 crore, 100 minus 20 minus 30, 50. In the next year, you see a 20% jump in your profit. And be with me throughout the video because uh, this is the core to understand operating leverage and if you do not understand it you will not be able to find multi-baggers especially in the manufacturing sector or the chemical sector or the api sector a lot of them in the year two your sales jump by 20 percent your sales become 120 crore your fixed asset your sorry your fixed costs they remain constant because as i said these are not going to increase your fixed cost is still 20 crore these are variable cost is 30 percent of sales which is 30% of 120, 36, and your profit is 64. 120 minus 20 minus 36. So sales jumped by just 20% and your profits jumped by 50 to 64, which is 28%. And if you do the same kind of growth in the next year, you will understand that. You will understand that. Uh, your sales, even though if it grows linearly, your profits will grow exponentially. And that is the core of operating leverage. Now, let's come back to an example of Valiant Organics. This is the screener page for this company, Valiant Organics. And let's see how operating leverage could play out in this company. 
disclosure i am invested in this company that's why my views could be biased uh, please do not go ahead and buy this company please do your own research i'm not a sabi registered investment advisor this is a small cap company could go either ways i could be wrong right so valiant organics uh, this is again a, a, a specialty chemical industry uh, this company falls in that kind of industry so if you look at the profit and loss numbers just look at these three years sales in in 2018 was 121 rupees sales in the last three years is about five times of that sales have increased by about five times in 2018 from 2018 to 2019 Now, if I look at the the balance sheet of the company, I see that the fixed assets for a very long time it was about ten, twelve, twenty six, thirty in in just two digits. But for the past three years, the fixed assets have jumped by probably ten times, right? About about ten times, ten fifteen times, which means that they are investing a lot in fixed assets. Fixed asset means your machineries, your plants, your equipments they are investing a lot which means they are expecting a huge surge in the demand if you look at if you scroll down and go to the cash flows and you check out the cash cash flow from investing activities you will see that for the past 10 years the, they were not investing much 1 crore 3 crore 2 crore etc but in the last 3 years they have invested a lot 88 crore 180 135 this is a jump of 2000 3000 4000% In, in investing activities, the sales has jumped by just five times or ten times, but the cash flows, the investing activity, the amount of investments, the fixed assets, they have grown by two thousand or three thousand percent, which means that there is potentially the sales can jump by four to five times in the next couple of years. and that will be the time if the sales jumps by 4 to 5 times the profits will not just jump by 4 to 5 times because that time the operating leverage will play out the fixed cost will remain constant the variable cost will increase linearly and the profits will increase exponentially right the profits could go by 7 or 8 times and that's my estimate and that's how the operating leverage plays out in these kinds of companies uh another very good example so this is what we expect from this company in the future another very good example of of operating leverage is dollar slabs if you look at the stock price let me show you the stock price for the past 5 years um i wouldn't i don't even have to go uh, go for for a very long time for the past one or two years itself the stock has grown by 6 to 7 times and if you look at the sales numbers the profit numbers the fixed assets and the investing uh, you know cash flows from investing activities you will understand the amount of investment that exponential investment that it has done in the past couple of years and those have eventually converted out to higher sales and even higher profit numbers and that's why this company has been growing exponentially and is projected to grow at the same rate in the next couple of years right so whenever you are doing research on various companies the the learning that you should take from this videos whenever you are doing any research in especially manufacturing kind of companies specialty chemical companies pharma companies which manufacture stuff you should always have an eye for you should always look out for the cash flows from investing activities the sales numbers right and their fixed assets how they have been investing it tells a lot about the industry structure the industry demand in the next couple of years and how the profits or sales could grow for this company no company is going to invest in expanding its capacity if it's not expecting the sales to shoot up so i hope this clear the concept thanks a lot for watching if you have any questions please put down in the comment box below and i'll try to answer them uh thanks a lot for watching see you in the next video